jump. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you guys want to watch little kids uh, rebuild cars, <laughs> make sure you smash that like button. This is one of my biggest and baddest builds and I cannot wait to start putting this thing together. It's a V8, guys. It's an okay, E92. Look, it. just, just look at that. Oh, oh damn. That's not actually showing. <laughs> Focus. V8, boys. V8. Um, this is one of the, I think probably the best spec you can get. You still get the sunroof, which keeps a little bit of luxuriness. You get the manual gearbox, and it has the red interior. So we're going to show you guys all that. We're going to pretty much be taking apart this whole front end. Um, hopefully, for the most part, see what's going on underneath all this damage. Um, I did see the pulley snap. I did see the belt snap. So there is some significant damage. The crash bar is completely shocked. But yeah, it's a lot of work needs to be done. Quarter panel, all, this whole car is some work. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, without further ado, move the car. Actually, we got to move the car over to this side and then we're gonna start taking about this front end. <laughs> That's M3 quality parts, boys. M3 Look at parts. this over here, dude. What is that? Why is there a water bottle in my M3? Here's his reaction a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Is your dad nobody? Huh? Is your dad nobody? No. See? I mean, you do things and then you... <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, mama. Show that you You have to see the interior. Well, they're gonna see like 10 airbags. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna see like 10 airbags deployed. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so I sold my car for, for, for this one. <laughs> Okay, so what what is this? <laughs> <laughs> is it BM? What is it? Yeah. Well, come on, come to this side. I don't even know what it is. It's the model you can oh get God, of this car. That leather. Yeah, so it's it's a uh, red interior. So that's what my jeans here. Yeah. Okay. And then it's a manual. It's true interior. So it's wow. manual, red interior. But uh, yeah, everything's got all the airbags deployed. Whole car's messed up. But yeah, what's up now with it, dude? It's late. <laughs> There's no justification for what just happened. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just don't worry about it. We'll get, we're gonna move the car over, don't worry. So we can no, get the Mercedes no, that's over. Oh, okay. that's okay. Oh, my booty's okay. Give it one, <laughs> give it one day, he's gonna let me know. <laughs> you know what we could do? That I actually went well. At the was kind of like 10 times better than this. Like, <laughs> this is like terrible. I want, I want, they pay me, if they pay me like an 8 times only ticket, I'm gonna justify it. <laughs> because to me, this is a piece of junk. <laughs> Dude, this is such a nice steering wheel. All right, guys. So, appreciate it, dude. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. Happy. Push it this way. Uh, what's it called? We're just gonna go ahead and push the car a little bit more. Oh, oh shit. Is it up? No. Because it was like barely on the first subframe already. It's fine. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead, open up this trunk. Whoa, okay, whoa, interesting. Oh, it doesn't even have a battery, dude. No wonder. <gasps> Is that thing still snapped in or no? They were smoking tree up in this car. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell? That's exactly what I wanna hear. All right, guys, uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and just put the car on jumper cables. I just wanna see the mileage. Jonathan over here is scaring the bazonkers out of me. Uh, Cause it says like, it says like in 2015 it had 73,000 miles. On the car facts that I looked up, it said it had 86,000 miles a month ago. So I'm really just wondering how much miles it has on the car and we can go, what the heck is that? Ow, that hurt. It's a truck tire. <laughs> it's gonna be heavy. What the hell? Dude, this car needs some cleaning. But honestly, the battery compartment is not smashed in that much, which is a great sign. That's a good, because I don't know if you guys remember on my car, the battery compartment was smashed all the way in and it was easily repaired. So this car, the quarter panel is not that big of a deal. That can get easily repaired. And is that a cheese stick? Yeah. <laughs> it was in part. Is it? Huh? All right, guys. So the 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 shift knob looks pretty decent. So I'm really hoping the miles are not crazy. Uh, we went ahead and connected the car. I don't. It doesn't look like it has any power right now. Dude, the shift knob looks in really good shape, though. Yeah. Usually these things wear out after like a hundred something thousand miles. Shift it looks really good. I mean, we won't say the last name, but the first name. We have a first name. All the paperwork in the back. Oh, you found the paperwork? It says Brittany. It's a girl. Possibly female-driven M3. That's honestly perfect. Because saying. she would take it to the dealership for everything. And that makes sense for all this damage because you know, no, I'm kidding. And look, <laughs> oh my God. earrings in the, oh. Why are you touching earrings? Possible real gold. 
Imagine that thing's worth the price of this car. <laughs> Imagine. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna try to get back to you guys. Figure out. Yeah, I think it has to be because Starbucks straws. How you gonna throw that at me? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, anyways, let's try to figure out a way to get some power to this car before we actually start taking that front end uh, apart. All right, guys, we're gonna go wash our hands. We gotta get something to eat because it's been a little bit of a long day. I know it's the beginning of this video, but it's like the same day of the video we're picking up the car. So we're just gonna get something to eat. We'll come back with you guys. Try to at least even get some power to this car today. I'm gonna go close the trunk of the other car and I'll be right back uh, and then I'll help Erwan put the battery in this car. What the fuck is this two on here? Now yeah, I'm supposed to total that number three. Oh shit! Oh, is that lights. power? Uh, Yo! Okay. That means. Moment of truth. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go on the other side first. Don't look. Hey. Don't cheat. Don't cheat over Don't here. Alright, guys. Moment of truth. This is. Please, God. Ninety-two. Okay. All right. That's not, that's not bad. So, what do you think? Ninety-three thousand. It's not too bad. I mean, it could it could have been a whole lot worse because this car was enhanced, and uh, considering the year, it could have been a whole lot worse. So, one hundred ninety-two. I mean, I mean, no, one hundred ninety-two. Ninety-two. Oh it's not too bad because I see a lot of these M3s have around like 150 around there with this type of year. So, um, considering you know it is a manual and it is red interior, still a good buy. So. Let's get to it. That's pretty exciting. So at least we got the power to the car, which we know that actually that means the positive must be good though, right? Well, the thing is with the positive cables, when they go out like that, everything works fine, but you can never start it because what it does is it shorts out the power to the starter. Oh, really? So the starter won't ever turn when you have that relay that bursts. Yeah, okay. So, all right, so we do you need still have to check if it even went out because sometimes they don't go out, but since all your airbags went off, I'm pretty sure it went off. Yeah, that's, that make, that'd make more sense. Um, but yeah, okay, that's good news. So um, we're going to go... We're probably, what else are we gonna do right now? We're just gonna go ahead and start taking apart the front end like we promised, but yeah, so it's 92,000 miles. It's not crazy good, it's not crazy bad, whatever. Um, it could've been a whole lot worse. Honestly, I was expecting some crazy number because it said back in 2015 at 73, right? Yeah. In 2015, which was four years ago, it could be have any, it could have like 130 right now. So honestly, I'm happy. Let's go ahead and get to it. Excuse me. Sorry guys, before we actually take apart the front end, it's got sitting here one more time. I gotta take it in. Oh my lord, what a steering wheel. Oh damn. This thing, yo, we can just call this a day. You're honestly crazy. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. But for now, but I think the CCC Dude, would what be the heck? Awesome. I didn't know that actually. What the heck? Toss this in here. Nah, no, I'm kidding. We're gonna do this proper. No, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. I thought it would just rip out. Dude, hey. This came up on the jewel charger. Can I have it? What is that? A jewel charger? What's a jewel charger? You don't smoke jewel? Oh, a jewel charger? It's all yeah. yours, dude. The heck? God bless. No, I got you, Tam. <laughs> what is this? Peace pipe. What the heck is she doing? I don't know. Future teacher. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Humidity control. What I like about this one also, I believe this one moves, right? <laughs> this has to move. It's not the two-way, no, this is the two-way, isn't it? Oh, it moves, yeah. Cool. We gotta start working on that front end, boys. Okay, well, 92,000 miles. That oil? So it smells like oil. Oh, that's an oil cooler. Yeah. Yeah, bro, that's an oil cooler. I didn't know what those were connected. I thought that was plastic. Then I see underneath it's an oil cooler. Oh, you thought it was nothing? No, yeah, I thought it was nothing. All those hoses are done. All those hoses are pink. Is that all good now? Front end. Oh, wait. Done. Yeah, that's the whole front end. <laughs> we'll figure out what we need from this pile of junk. <laughs> but, uh, at least now you can look at the engine, right? No, oh, I do the whole, whole belt is here. You don't even need to worry about this thing being sucked in. Tension over here. This pool is good. This pool is good. Alright, guys, we got the whole belt right here. Perfect. So at least you know the belt didn't get sucked into the engine. That's the whole belt. That's awesome. So how to that? Um, no, that's your that's your AC. 
Oh, so that one have got sucked in, period. Uh -huh. yeah, this, this one. is your regular This belt. is a serpentine, right? Yeah, and this one looks like it got sucked in on this end over here. Yeah, my booty. That one's, ah. a, that one's a hundred per- I checked that one. Okay. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, How is the too. damage here, though? Huh? This is where the pulley broke, Yeah, see? that's that pulley. And look, at down here, you got lucky, because right here, it looks like- None of this- You see how this doesn't look bent at all? Yeah. This engine's good. It's not even seized. Bro. Okay. Well, that's good. That's really good, so- uh, Oh, that's oil. Oil? So that's the, that's the engine oil. Yeah, that's oil. Okay, so that's the oil cooler. We'll upgrade that. Don't worry about that, boys. Um, damn, it's disgusting. <laughs> Alright, so as long as this is straight, bro, we are solid. Like, yeah. this this can get fixed. So like, that's the good news, guys. Honestly, this as long as this beam is straight, we figured out that wasn't the serpentine that built. It's not seized. This needs to be pulled up. Other than that, everything else is just parts. All right, guys. So we're gonna actually continue this build another day. I don't like recording at night, so I want to actually show you guys like during the day and all that stuff. So far, we just made sure we got the miles, 92,000. It's not bad considering the year. It's a 2008, so you know it was driven fairly. It wasn't abused. Um, we checked the serpentine engines on seas. Uh, nothing seems to be that. Nothing seems to have damaged the engine, and of course. These pillars are straight, which means when I put on the new radiator support on both sides, I'll be able to line that side up. And then this side, we should be able to, um, the, the frame shop will know where to align it from because the radiator should be 100% straight. So that's another good sign. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all this uh, another day in the same video. So we'll catch you guys in uh, probably Wednesday. <laughs> Service. What's going on guys? Welcome back to channel. This is three days later of actually getting the M3. It's been sitting here. I've been working on schoolwork the past couple days and I've been just stressed the hell out. But um, finally I can actually start digging into the front end. So I have a little bit of the video where we actually took off the radiator support, all that front stuff that was completely damaged with the crash bar. Um, we took that out to the backyard. It's got all the parts on it and stuff. Unfortunately we, did we recorded that in the dark and that's why I wanted to like, stop the recording. I want to show you guys all this during the day. Thankfully it finally stopped raining. It's been raining the last like three days non-stop. So that's kind of crazy. But if we open her up real quick. That is the beast that we're gonna be seeing hopefully run in a few days. The goal is honestly to take apart the whole front end, figure out what needs to be replaced, what we need to order. I got already a few parts at my boy's place or last place. We have the door already at my boy's place. I have the dash already at my boy's place. So all that stuff's gotta get replaced. The whole front end's gotta replace the suspension, everything. But yeah, goals of today is to just take apart the front end, see what we need to replace, clean off everything around the engine, see if anything around the engine is damaged, and then uh, find a place like that's where I can source out these parts. Actually, I don't even think I gave you guys an overview. So since this is pretty much the first rebuilding uh, you know, day, uh, I might as well show you guys the car. So pretty much this door has to be replaced. Luckily, I have another black door, but it's a jet black instead of this. I believe the color of this hood, I mean, this car is, Whatever the heck that is, so I can't pronounce it. So don't worry about that. But anyways, I might have to get the redoor. I have to get the door painted. Anyways, um, the things with M3s, there's three different colors of black. So being able to just color match all this is almost nearly impossible. Um, it's already hard as it is to find parts for an M3. So yeah, that's the front end. That pillar looks good, 100% fine. The beams are straight which is amazing. That pillar is messed up. Hopefully we can line it up once we actually put the radiator support and attach it all to that side. We can line that up and figure out how to align that properly. Probably end up taking that to a shop. As you guys can see, this wheel is a little bit bent. This one is not, so one of them are damaged, and the steering wheel is turned. We got a lot of things going on over here, but luckily, again, the beam is good, so we can work around all this stuff. The trans cool, it doesn't seem like it's leaking, so we'll figure that out, um, see if that's even holding anything. Because the thing itself is actually in good condition, just dirty, um, but the bracket's broken, so we might have to order a new bracket. Uh, the lines look good. Uh, down here, the oil cooler is completely destroyed. The lines are kinked up. We're not even going to try to save that. We're going to replace it all because cooling is important. But yeah, coming around to this side, uh, the mirror is good on this side, thank God, because these things run about 600 a pop. Uh, coming on to the rear end quarter panel, this side is a little bit damaged. As you guys can see, it's not lining up with the trunk, but on this side, it shuts. The trunk, is, everything is perfect. So it's just this side pretty much it needs to get fixed. Uh, frame shop needs to pull that out, bring it up a little bit. And honestly, this stuff can get pulled out without even probably needing to paint. Not too sure, but we'll figure that out. Yeah, bumper needs to be replaced. It was missing a battery, which is kind of weird. Interior, uh, we cut off the airbags, all these airbags deployed. This airbag deployed, the dash airbag deployed, but just cut them all out. But yeah, guys, this is the Dream Spec Red Interior Manual E92 M3. We literally pay for the badge, boys. Well, after the do, let's start taking about this front end and make a parts list of everything we need, because uh, it's gonna be a lot of money. Can't sleep alone. Now I can't sleep alone. 
All right, guys, so you guys can see the whole mess over here I'm going with. Um, I'm still wondering, hoping that subframe is good because if it's not good, we're gonna have a little bit of an issue. It looks good from here. It looks perfectly good. So I'm really hoping that's good because you know, it holds the bearings to the wheels and I don't want you know anything being crooked. Um, so I have to make sure I have to double check that. But so far it looks pretty good. Um, this is the only line I was able to uh, sap, like you know keep. This is all good, nothing's kinked up. The rest of these lines are messed up, including the, inner, the intercooler. So I gotta get all this cleaned up. Uh, figure out the part numbers for all these guys, all these specific hoses. Uh, we have, including this hose is damaged for the, the, what's it called? Power steering, so there's a lot of things you gotta get ordered. But um, without further ado, let me just go ahead and uh, organize all this stuff. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a bolt back there that connects to this one right here. So there's a giant bolt back there I gotta remove. It's gonna be a pain in my butt. But then one of these, like this one's good. I mean, this one's good. It's got a very minor kink. That one's still usable. This one is completely kinked up. So that one we have to remove. So there's a giant, I believe like a 20 millimeter hex. We have to figure out what that one is, but um, I have to remove that somehow. I'll get back to you guys when I get that out because that seems like it's gonna be a pain in the boot high. All right, guys, I just got my new swivel socket from uh, AutoZone, so we are good to go. Got to go ahead and slap that on and see if we can get that stupid bolt out, and then we can get this whole thing out. And then after that, we're going to try to figure out if this uh, transmission cooler is savable. I don't want to go ahead and drain the fluids from here. I want to be able to at least drive the car and test it, so I'm hoping uh, that this didn't lose any fluids. So we're going to go ahead and test this. We're gonna go ahead and check all the transmission lines, make sure that none of it's leaking. Uh, from here, nothing is leaking, it's dry as shit. Uh, up here, this metal frame is broken. Uh, the frame that holds on to here is broken, so these two have to be replaced. Um, the fins and everything are looking pretty good. It's a couple right here that we can straighten out, and the rest of them is not a big deal, but the actual frame of the intercooler seems pretty fine. These things run about 500 bucks, so you might be able to just deal with it for now and swap out the fluids, but replacing this, um, we'll try to avoid because it's just, the damages don't look to be too too major here. But I can't say the same for this oil cooler. This has gotta get replaced, and uh, so is that radiator. The radiator from the bottom does have a crack, so that's a no-go. Condenser was good. Um, I, th I believe this is the power steering uh, cooler, so that seems to be good, so that's all good. Brackets are broken, so we need to get new brackets, a new radiator. Um, and overall, it looks pretty good. I just want to take off all these final bolts and pieces. We have to take off this bracket that holds all this stuff, which is broken. So once I remove that, once we remove this one line, we can figure out what is going on here. I have to stuff to remove this little piece right here, and just little things like that. Once I remove all that, we'll figure out what we need to buy, and uh, this may need a new power steering pump. Um, I think that's what it is. I'm not really sure where this is, or AC. Or AC. Uh, we'll figure what that is in a little bit, and then uh, get that replaced. Alright guys, we went ahead, we removed all the hoses, the whole front end. This is really good progress. Um, I still want to get to that before the end of this video, so we do want to get to the transmission cooler, get all the mounts off of it, see if the transmission cooler is still good, see if it's kinked up. Um, but before we do that, I want to remove this pulley. We just removed this pulley right here. That pulley seems to be fine, so I might just reuse that pulley. This one is cracked on the top. It spins perfectly uh, fine, so that's, that's cool. Um, this one spins just fine as well. Uh, this one spins fine, but I think once it breaks off, it's just broken. So I may need to get a whole new AC uh, system. I may need to get the whole AC system for the pulley, so that's gonna suck. That's gonna be quite a bit. Fortunately, that's the one that really got damaged, uh, but that's whatever. Um, and then I'll also replace the bracket for that. I gotta replace the bracket that holds all this stuff down here. But yeah, let's just go ahead and remove this pulley, see if we can remove anything else from the front end. And then uh, move this as well. And then let's go ahead and start working on this transmission cooler. See if this is still salvageable.
All right, guys, so the oil cooler, I mean, the transmission cooler looks pretty good. We might be able to salvage that. We took apart the whole front end today, so I'm feeling really, really, really confident. Now I just gotta figure out where all this stuff goes and what everything, every single one of these parts mean and do. So I gotta go order all these parts. I got to figure out what they are, try to, you know, find the best prices on all this stuff. Huge progress. I'm happy none of the beams got destroyed. I'm happy that the subframe looks pretty good. Engine looks pretty good. Just some minor stuff, some minor pulleys, some stuff like that, but overall, Really, really, really happy. First things first, we're gonna be doing in the next video, hopefully, is either gonna be taking apart some more parts of the car, or we're gonna be getting some parts in for the engine first. We're gonna try to get this thing to crank over. That is our first objective. We wanna make sure this thing runs before we do anything else. Um, so yeah. All right, guys, so it is literally pouring out here, so excuse the rain, but uh, we got all the parts out right here. We got Mohammed just came over for a little bit. <laughs> uh, we want to see the M car, because he hasn't seen it yet. But um, anyways, just pretty much taking apart. I just took apart the fenders, uh, there's some serious hidden damage under this wheel. I'll show you guys in the next video. <laughs> it's, it's pretty weird. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button. If we can get this video to 500 likes, we'll go ahead and get another episode out ASAP. Um, the parts on this car is fairly expensive, but I should be able to budget all in the next couple weeks, in the next couple days. So we'll do little by little, but the main thing is you got to get this engine to start. So if you guys want to see that happen, make sure to smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Love you guys so much. Without further ado, huh? Stay humble. Yeah, without further ado, remember to stay humble.